Gambotto è un marchio che fin dall'inizio si dedica alla velocità, anzi meglio dire a coniugare la velocità con il comfort, rispettare le caratteristiche che sono dei catamarani, cioè saper andare forte, regalare tante emozioni all'armatore e al timoniere. Su questa barca in particolare cosa dichiara questa attitudine? Beh, la daggerboard che vedete dietro di me, una deriva che scende oltre i 3,5 metri e mezzo per poter bolinare. La bolina è una delle qualità che fanno la barca marina. Gunboat is trying to reconcile two things that are very difficult to reconcile, which is on the one hand to have a very comfortable boat with lots of um, equipment that goes with comfort, uh, and on the other hand to have very good performance. And usually the comfort comes with weight, and weight is the enemy of performance. Okay, so at Gunboat, our aim is to reconcile the unreconcilable. On this specific model we are on board today, which is the Gunboat 72. The Gunboat 72 is the first gunboat with a flybridge. So initially we thought it would be impossible to achieve gunboat type performance with a flybridge. And with the insistence of clients, we've actually have been forced to analyze the situation with the architects. And the good surprise was that we could effectively deliver gunboat performance with a flybridge. And the result is the Gunboat 72. So definitely the, the, the flybridge uh, is something extremely attractive for, for owners. And we see many, many marks, the, the mainstream brands of this market all offer effectively flybridge boats. And uh, many of our previous clients uh, have been asking for us to actually uh, see whether we could develop a flybridge. It's a much broader market uh, than, than the non-flybridge boat market. I mean, definitely, especially in the big size uh, uh, cats. And uh, uh, I think we are the only one really positioned uh, that can afford um, uh, and allow our owners to sail in very light winds. So this boat, for example, will sail at wind speed and above from seven, eight knots of wind onwards. Il bello dei catamarani è lo spazio, il volume che si riesce a creare, anche in questa barca leggera con gli scaffi sottili, guardate che piattaforma, che zona living e poi la cosa bella è che non c'è gradino tra l'interno e l'esterno, le porte quasi scompaiono. Questo è lo scafo dedicato all'armatore, questa è la Master Cabin, finiture semplici per restare leggeri. Le client, donc nous connaissions le, le client, il avait euh, apprécié un design que j'avais fait là, sur un multicoque, euh, un one-off, un projet. Et euh, donc quand il a choisi de faire construire son bateau avec le chantier Gunboat, nous avons donc euh, travaillé avec le, ce que j'avais fait auparavant pour lui en fait. Et donc nous l'avons euh, adapté aux intérieurs du Gunboat 72. Euh, L'idée était d'avoir un, un intérieur confortable, euh, assez haut de gamme, mais un, un, un esprit de fraîcheur et de légèreté. Donc la légèreté se traduit par les matériaux utilisés qui sont très légers, comme le Honecker, et également euh, le design qui est plutôt épuré, blanc et euh, très simple. Sur le, le plan d'aménagement, il en existe plusieurs. Je, le, les, les clients peuvent choisir différents plans d'aménagement. Il y a une coque propriétaire qui peut être soit toute propriétaire, soit une partie propriétaire, une partie VIP, une partie propriétaire avec deux cabines. Il y a également sur la coque bâbord cabine invitée et le, deux cabines invitées et le crew avec le mess, etc. La cabine, le, le carré donc avec une très grande cuisine avec beaucoup de rangements. Euh, une vue incroyable à 360 degrés dans le bateau 
et un côté lounge euh, qui peut être aussi aménagé avec une table pour dîner ou pas. I think the client uh, wanting a gunboat is quite uh, uh, is uh, somebody that sails a lot, that likes performance and likes uh, sailing experience and steering the boat and maneuvering. So yes, uh, performance is quite high on the on the list. But at the same time, he likes uh, living on the boat and a certain amount of comfort. The hulls are are uh, coming from the 68, so they're really thin, thin hulls. The dis displacement, sorry, is fairly light, so it's comfort but at the same time with a lot of performance as on the other boats of the of the of the of the series we have a uh, daggerboard that lifts up and down and uh, so they're symmetric profiles you sail upwind with both boards in the water and you can play with the uh, the amount of board uh, depending on the, the the wind angle and and the wind strength and it basically it gives you more uh, compared to uh, Uh, traditional fin on a more conventional catamaran. Uh, it gives you more grip, so you can sail better upwind with a smaller angle. Siamo abituati a vedere dei catamarani diventati ormai degli appartamenti a più piani delle ville che si spostano sull'acqua. Forse sarebbe meglio definirli isole galleggianti, invece questi gunboat no, navigano e vanno forte. Mm.